Before I begin, I have a little backstory I'd like to tell. On December 24, 2015, almost three years ago, I did a private glitch hunting screen share chat with my good friend Adam. I was also recording this session in case I found some crazy shit during this session. As I was showing off combo moves, also known as Golden Spider token locations, he said I should do an all combo move location video since he never seen a video on that subject before. That footage from that session was ultimately used in my Golden Spider token location video. Using the power of Movie Maker, I half-assed that video, probably spending a few hours on it, chopping it up and putting text on it, because I seriously thought no one would care. Since the game was 15 plus years old, well, I was dead wrong. It happens to be one of my most popular videos I've ever made on this channel. People certainly found it useful. Shame I thought the way I did. Well, I'm not going to make the same mistake while making this video. I'm going to be putting a little thing called effort in this one. And it all comes full circle, which brings me here today. A comment left by T-Bag Gaming on my latest PB speedrun video, which sparked the flame to make this. And he said, it would be great if I did a showcase, you know, like, like an exhibition if you will, of all the combo moves in Toby 1. So I'm deaf giving this man his dues for the idea. I'm going to start off with the moves already given to you at the start of a fresh new file. So I'll go through these fairly quickly. These web moves at the bottom will have to wait their turn for the time being. Now these combos are your basic beginner combos, pretty much for the player that hits one button over and over again. You know, feeling out the controls before exploring. First off we have the dual fist. Causes the opponent to stagger a bit, but nothing special here. Now we have the mule kick. Opening up the combo list menu, the game throws you a curveball, giving you a combo that jazzes up your button inputs, informing you that you can mix your punches and kicks to form new combos. Now time to demonstrate the combo moves you will unlock throughout your playthrough. Now what better way to show off your new moves than in the ring against... The old ball and chain... Sorry, no autographs. Certain enemies, like this luchador, will have an immunity, and the combo move will not properly execute. So I'll be switching over to the common thug, since they are not immune to any combo, making them the perfect sparring partner. How you like- oh! Dumb and a You're crazy to step in the ring. A little quick side note I wanted to add is yes, this golden spider token has an inconsistent spawn rate. But I did want to mention a comment left by the brain and brawn, informing me that the token sometimes also appears after you save MJ. Hopefully one day there will be a consistent method to make this combo appear 100% of the time.
Craven never won many good sportsmanship awards. I can see the bugle headline now. Spidey suffocates in air vent. How embarrassing. You are able to piggyback on some enemies while in the air. Press the jump button. If you press the kick button while riding, you do a suplex. If you press the punch button, you unleash a barrage of punches. The thug can run into a wall and knock you off him. If you press the jump button again, you just hop off his shoulders. Now to show off fairly obscure D-pad combo moves. Or should I say move, since it's really just one motion. Pressing a direction in the D-pad and combining it with a punch, jump, kick, or web will cause you to do the following. D-pad left or right and punch causes you to give the out of my face, give me some room, get back in the kitchen backhand pimp slap. D-pad down and punch causes a surprise elbow to the gut. Poor guy never saw it coming. While D-pad up and punch causes this uppercut. D-pad left or right and kick will cause similar afflictions like your punches did. But man, look at that flexibility to the skull on the skull member's skull. Ouch. While D-pad up and kick will cause this rocket kick. Little side note, if you time your jump button press correctly, you can get a little height. Not that that's any useful since cloud swinging can take you to outer space. Yahoo! Hey, king of the world. D-pad down and kick will cause you to bust out the moves, sweeping thugs off their feet. This move, I must warn you, has a peculiar hitbox. Not really a combat move, but still worth mentioning. D-pad in any direction plus the jump button will cause you to dodge, which in my opinion is pretty tough to properly execute, so I wish anyone good luck while trying to master dodging during combat. Oh, Nothing special, but if you combine it with a web button, you become a web bullet knocking over thugs. The jump button followed up with a kick or punch press causes you to do said moves in the air, but if you double jump and press jump or kick, you become a homing rocket. While in the air, you can press the web button. The game's instructional manual calls this the web laser, doing only meager amounts of damage while on the ground. Instead of doing damage, it just restrains the enemy. What's with the get up, chump? Hey, you! You should have stayed home, kid. Now, onto web combat. This is way back in the good old days when your webbing actually did damage. Now this is where I have to bring up the two control styles the game asks you to pick from at the start of a fresh new file. A good thing to remember is you can always change the control style in the pause menu. Since the control style affects what button inputs you have to use to execute these moves. On classic you use the analog stick combined with a punch, kick or web button. While on enhance you hold down the L trigger then input a punch, kick or web button to execute your web moves. You aren't so tough. Advanced Web Dome, reinforcing your dome with more webbing, causing a bigger kaboom and causing you to be immune to any damage, but you could still be grabbed out of your web dome. A normal impact web only affects single targets, while advanced web impact causes massive crowd control. This is incredible! Knocking several enemies off their feet. And the sound effect they use for this advanced web impact just gives so much power behind it. But be warned, this move chunks your web meter. Now the best for last, web gloves. Boy oh boy. While the normal web gloves are still good, giving you more damage on all your punches, the advanced web gloves allow you to chunk any boss and slice through enemy waves with ease. The only downside is that they are not permanent and after a few punches need to be reapplied. Web gloves can increase the damage of any punch on any combo move. This is probably the only move I'll give this special treatment to, but using the haymaker while on easy mode will one-shot any enemy, boss, just total knockout. And on higher difficulties, it probably would two shots or three shots them. A few things I want to mention before I say goodbye is if I'm wrong in anything I say in this video, oh well, I tried. Second, looking at the back of the game box, this game has an option to use an arcade stick. So if anyone out there wants to try it out, I say go for it. 
I would have loved to seen how the arcade stick affects this game, but arcade sticks are not in my very, very tiny budget. I know I probably can use an emulator to emulate an arcade stick, but I'm gonna be real. I'm too lazy to learn how to do that. So anyways, thank you all for watching. It is much appreciated. I love making these vids. Till next time, brothers.